Hey guys, just a quick video. I'm uh, going to tell you guys how to adjust the settings for the GPS volume. Uh, when I got my radio, I've just had this a uh, couple of days now. When I first got it, I was uh, everything was working great, all my buttons worked fantastic, really loved the unit, and then I plugged, turned on the GPS software. It's the Janet right here, turned it on, set it to navigate, and suddenly the voices out of it were excruciatingly low. And uh, searched around, really couldn't find a fix for it. I was actually looking for a fix for something completely unrelated, and I came across the fix for the uh, for the GPS. But let me show you the volumes I've got it at right now, so you can hear that it's nice and loud. Notifications and sounds. Going to go down to the voices. Okay, so I'm going to turn this up a little bit so you can hear the radios on pretty decently, and even with the radio. After 300 yards, turn left. After 300 yards, turn left. Yep. After 80 meters, turn right. Then make a sharp left. After 80 meters, turn right. Then make a sharp left. After 300 meters, turn slightly left. So you can hear that we can hear this now. Nice and loud. Awesome. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So run your default menu screen, hit settings, all the way down, factory settings that are all the way at the bottom, and then you're going to enter a password right here. One, two, six. That is one, two, six. And of that, hit the button right here. It's going to take you into this setup menu right here. It'll let you set your car logo. So uh, I'm going to be a BMW. I have the BMW logo set. And also go all the way over to voice, where it says voice right here. I'm going to hit the voice button. Uh, it's a little bit glary, but we can see real quick that uh, you see radio right here, AV. This is where you independently set the volume of all the different components on the radio. The radio is, uh, I believe it's hardware, so you have to set it in here, you cannot adjust it. So originally when I opened the unit, the radio was at 10. I turned it all the way down to 1, so it's nice and quiet when I turn the volume all the way down. And then system is the one that controls the voice menus inside GPS and notification all that kind of stuff inside the actual Android. I set that one to 20 so it's, it's maximum volume so that I get my uh, I get my voice commands nice and loud in the car and you can hear it totally clear. Uh, there is some other bits and pieces you can play with. Let's see the radio. My radio was not set correctly so I set it to, to America 2. On the radio voice obviously we've seen that one. Car logo we've seen that one. Apps didn't really mess around with a whole lot of this stuff. CAN bus, uh, the CAN bus I've got set on no on this BMW, if I set it to anything else, there is a BMW setting in there, I think it's uh, BMW for something or other, let's take a scroll and see, BMW Union, if I set it to BMW Union, none of the keys on my, uh, on my steering wheel work, none of the buttons work, well, currently everything works, so I left that at none, at no. Key study, I didn't mess around with this too much. I did play with this real quick and I accidentally hit panel key study and somehow turned it so that my, my touch screen wasn't working at all. So I didn't want to play with that too much. Uh, a couple of bits and pieces, brightness and just control, all the little bits and pieces for this menu. Lots of nice, cool deals where you can play around and set this thing a little bit more uh, personal for you. You don't have the front radio, the front camera, you can turn that off, all that kind of stuff. Hit exit. Uh, if you did anything um, that requires the radio, sometimes it'll reset itself. When it comes back up, you should have all of your voices and stuff nice and loud. Everything should work just great. That's it, guys. Hope that helps somebody. I know I was stuck on that for a while and finally found a solution. So, catch you guys later.